Okay, so here we are. I saw a viral video of a giant wheel of cheese that was melted on top and then just jumped onto a bunch of like potatoes. What? And uh, Adam asked me to make it. Adam, Adam. First off, we need the cheese. I called a bunch of cheese shops. Hello, I'm looking for raclette. Hi. Um <laughs> Do you think this is gonna go well? He's shaking his head no. Instead of getting half wheel, we got a whole wheel. Cause why not? It's supposed to be nine pounds, which doesn't sound that heavy to me, but that's how much a baby weighs. Where is it? This is fancy. It smells like farts. This was more than we even anticipated, and it was $324 for 10 pounds of cheese, which is a lot of money for cheese. Oh my God. Also, I'm lactose intolerant, so this is gonna be great. That was <laughs> Oh, why did I do that? Cheese wheel. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> What the hell? Oh shit, it comes with a whole set of stickers. Ooh, aged a minimum of 90 days. Fancy. Which reminds me, we have to make something to put this on top of. What I've researched very vaguely and very quickly is that it's typically over boiled potatoes. So we're doing red potatoes because that's what the grocery store had. How do you peel potatoes? Do the what? Oh, okay, cool. I am for sure gonna hurt myself. Okay, we're gonna set these bad boys. Now I gotta cut this cheese. In the video, it's only a half a wheel of cheese. They do it, oh my god. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. Now, oh, I know though, I think, oh my god, I went on a cheese trip. Oh, it smells so bad, it smells like, oh, it smells like a thousand farts. All right, where was I? But in the videos, it's cut in half. How does one go about cutting a giant wheel of cheese? Oh, it's not, okay. It's very thick. Ugh. Thank God this is only a semi-soft cheese. You gotta use all your body weight. It smells so bad, ugh. It's wild that we even made or ate cheese with how bad it smells. Ooh, so smooth. Oh! <laughs> cheese hands. I'm gonna have to just get used to it. Okay, I'm gonna try a little bit of it because I'm curious. <laughs> I don't know if I like it. I'm gonna give some to Adam. There you go. This is very sharp. Oh, shit. this is boiling over. Da, 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 da. Oh, done. Voila. So I'm gonna salt and pepper my potatoes. Get them prepped. We don't have an open fire, so I'm going to attempt to blowtorch the side of this. How do you work this thing? Don't play with fire at home. Okay, I think this is gonna work. But is this just putting like straight up butane onto uh, some cheese that you're gonna eat? Let's start from the top. Oh shit. Wow, it's bubbling. This is the craziest thing I've ever done in my life. Besides meeting a Spice Girl. Oh, it smells so much better now. So in the video, they kind of, oh. Okay, that wasn't perfect. Oh, it's like a cheetah skin. It smells very charred. Mmm. Okay, so when I first tried this, it was like very sour. Goes from being tart to being much more rich in flavor. Wow. So good, right? Okay, we need to melt even more. All right, there are specialty pieces of equipment that you're supposed to use to melt this cheese, but they're like an additional $300. We're gonna use an iron with a hair dryer, and then I'm gonna toast it off and then try and melt it on there. You can see the middle's bubbling a lot. Oh, 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 oh my God. I think that worked way better. That is so good. Should we bring people in here to try it? <laughs> <laughs> this is Rie. I've just been uh, kind of. Yes. Three hundred dollars. Our Do you think there's a better way to melt it? I think maybe you can put it in a broiler. It's Ooh. really hot. All right, we are going to broil this bad boy. It's beginning start to. While the other part is broiling, I'm gonna set up the potatoes. We've invited everyone to come up here. Wait, get out of the way, get out of the way. <laughs> okay, guys. All right, and now we scrape it off. All right, we've tried
tried three different ways to make this raclette. The most fun was with an iron and a hair dryer. The most successful was with a broiler. I would definitely recommend having the cheese at some point in your life. And what do you guys think? Is it good? Yes. Mm. Until next time, it'll be not me in the next episode. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We gotta. Yeah. What are we doing with the rest? We gotta melt it and then do have some more. Have you tried more. it without melting? Like, have you tasted it's it? It's bad when it's not melted. Oh, yeah. oh yes.